Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So in this video, we are going to talk about bioremediation. So let's get started. So previously we talked about bioremediation and some of its factors and its effects. And I just said that uh, we'll be starting the next video from here on. So the next topic for today will be hydrocarbon bioremediation. So starting off with this and what it is all about. So talking about hydrocarbon bioremediation, so as you can see the pictures on right uh, on your screen, so these are some of the environmental effects caused by oil spills. As you can see, these uh, organisms which are present in water or maybe land are highly affected. You can see these lands and all of these reservoirs are all are affected. So these are a major menace to the marine environment. So on with this, so talking about the bioremediation of hydrocarbons. So these petroleum based hydrocarbons, so the major uh, petrochemical hydrocarbons are acetylene, benzene, ethane, ethylene, methane, propane, xylene, naphthalene, octane and camphor. Also hydrocarbons are carcinogenic, uh, carcinogenic and neurotoxic organic uh, pollutants. These hydrocarbon uh, bioremediation is a sort of a biological treatment to destroy or reduce the concentration of hazardous hydrocarbon wastes from contaminated sites. And these bioremediation process depends upon the nature of hydrocarbon, the microbial species or enzyme used in it, and the strategy used for bioaugmentation or biostimulation. So this is in short an overview of the bioremediation of hydrocarbon. We know hydrocarbons are not at all safe for the environment, so we need to degrade it or bioremediate it uh, with the help of these compounds. All right. So there are three uh, processes on which this uh, bioremediation of hydrocarbon depends upon, which is the nature of hydrocarbon, the microbial species and enzymes used, and the strategy used, which can be bioaugmentation or biostimulation. So, and with this, so the hydrocarbon degraded, uh, degraded by a uh, consortium or cocktail of natural naturally occurring hydrocarbon degrading microbes so some of the examples of these sort of enzymes or microbes can be pseudomonas arthrobacter cornobacterium mycobacterium and nocardia also enzymes playing major role in this process such as methane monooxygenases dioxygenase alkane hydroxylases so as you can see these are some of the important bacteria that help in the bioremediation of hydrocarbons so as you can see, all of the species and all of the bacterial yeast and fungi are present as well. So moving on with this. So talking about the enzymatic biodegradation reaction. So these enzymatic biodegradation reaction can be aerobic as well as anaerobic in nature. And these include de uh, detoxification, degradation, conjugation and many more. Also, biodegradation of aromatic hydrocarbon involves. So, it involves removal of side chain, opening of benzene ring, cleavage of amide, ester, and ether bonds, elimination of halogen groups. So, these are some of the uh, reactions or enzymatic reactions that undergo while degradation of hydrocarbon takes place. So, some of the biodegradation of aromatic hydrocarbon involves all of these processes. And enzymatic biodegradation reaction would be mainly either aerobic or anaerobic, which includes detoxification, degradation, and conjugation, and many other processes. And the biodegradation of aromatic hydrocarbons involve all of these four processes. And we have a typical metabolic pathway for hydrocarbon degradation. So this is the thing. So this is the hydrocarbon which gets converted to alcohol. And thereafter, it gets to aldehyde, then to carboxylic acid. So this is a simple reaction. This is a simple reaction that we have studied from our junior classes. So this is how this thing uh, gets degraded slowly and steadily. And from carboxylic acid, it gets degraded to carbon dioxide, protein, water, as the as this particular thing enters the TCA cycle or the citric acid cycle. This. So talking about the uh, catechol or Protocatechuate, which are the two major inter uh, intermediate products formed during aerobic enzymatic degradation of cyclic aromatic compounds. All right. So talking about the aerobic enzymatic reaction and not the anaerobic one. So talking about one of the methods through which 
enzymatic degradation of hydrocarbons takes place which is the aerobic method and we'll have uh, we, we have here the two intermediate products that are formed during this process which is catechol and protocatechuate all right so these are the two compounds catechol and protocatechuate so this is the thing two intermediate compounds that are formed during this uh, degradation process all right so all of these aromatic hydrocarbons as you can see benzene phenol toluene anilum and this is these are all of the things uh, benzoate hydroxy benzoate alkyl phenol uh, m and nitrobenzoate so these are all of the aromatic hydrocarbons which get degraded and these form two intermediate compounds between the process which is uh, catechol and procatechuate all right so this is how the biodegradation of hydrocarbons in the aerobic enzymatic degradation is carried out so in the aerobic in the enzymatic degradation these all of these aromatic hydrocarbons all of these aromatic hydrocarbons that we have here gets degraded to form these two this is the first catechol and this is the second this is the another intermediate compound that is formed while degradation moving on with this so talking about another term which is the superbug so what is it so it's a genetically engineered bacterial strain which are used to enhance bioreputation of oil spills so definitely it's a genetically engineered bacterial strain which is used to enhance the process of degradation of oil spills while in case of oil spills so in 1979 anand mohan chakraborty found a strain of pseudomonas pietrida by genetic cross linking and this multiplasmid hydrocarbon degrading microbe developed containing xy ln nah plasmid or naphthalene and toluene well as a hybrid plasmid derived by recombining parts of cam and oct or camphor and octane and superbug is extensively used for cleaning oil spills so this is definitely a enhancer in the entire process of bioremediation of hydrocarbons especially during oil spills All right, so superbug is a genetically modified bacterial strain, which is used for enhancing the bioremediation process of oil spills. So moving on with this, so talking about the creation of the superbug by transfer of plasmids. So how this, uh, how is this superbug formed? So as you can see, this is a camphor plasmid, this is octane plasmid. These two are mated. These two are simultaneously mated, and these. Uh, I mated or these two are brought together to produce a single strain or plasmid recombination takes place or homologous recombination takes place and these two combine to form a camphor octane plasmid and same with this xyl plasmid and nh plasmid uh, combine together to form these two different strains cause these two depend on the uh, or because these two did not combine they are because of number of factors that we have studied in the genetic engineering part these may be due to the origin of replication these may be site of replication these these do not have a particular site of uh, restriction enzyme so that's why they do not combine each other but they are present in a single uh, host all right so they are present in a single host and these two strains are very much present so this is xyl plasmid this is nh plasmid in a particular strain and this is this is the combination of two so we got two different plasmids now this is one this is second and these two are now mated all right so after mating we get three different types of plasmids inside it so this is the camphor octane plasmid and this is the xyl and the nh so these are uh, three plasmid gets combined in a single host mm -hmm. or uh, which is known as the strain g so all three are present in a single thing which is known as a superbug so superbug formation has been formed with the help of mating of four different plasmids so this is the camphor camphor is the first octane is the second xyl is the third and nh is the fourth so these are mated together to form a superbug so moving on with this so talking about the biosurfactants So the biosurfactants are chemical compounds characterized by hydrophilic and hydrophobic regions in one molecule. So definitely these are known as amphipathic molecules. So cause these uh, have both the amphi uh, have both the hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends in a particular molecule. And these biosurfactants are produced by oil degrading bacteria, which is which can be cyanobacteria, fungi, or yeasts. so these are definitely produced by oil degrading bacteria 
So this is, these are some of the biosurfactants and these can reduce the surface tension of an oil water interface and they reduce interfacial tension promotes biodegradation of oil. So definitely biosurfactants are a addition to the enhancement of the process. So reduction of surface tension enhances the pro process of biodegradation of oil. Biodegradation of oil. Yeah. So with this. So this is the next topic for the next video, which is pesticides bioremediation. So let's just keep this video till here. I'll be continuing the next video from here on. So stay tuned and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.